Welcome to the University of Dayton School of Law. My name is Maggie Miles and I am in my second year here and I'm going to be taking you guys on a virtual tour of the building today. So right now we're in our courtroom, which is my favorite room in the whole building, and I think a lot of other people would agree with me on that. And it's used for a variety of different purposes. So during first year students orientation week, this is the room where a lot of those events are held, but one of those being the oath of professionalism, which is essentially like the Hippocratic oath, but for lawyers. And it's a really special event that people get all dressed up for, friends and family are invited. And it's just a fun way to start your law school career. The other types of events that are held in here are mock trial events, oral arguments for the moot court team are held in here, and during students' first year legal writing course, actually all first year students are required to do a really short oral argument in the courtroom, and it's just a fun way to get some experience public speaking and working on some of those practical skills that a lot of students will end up using um, in their careers as lawyers. So this is our faculty lounge and in this room it's mostly used for career services events. So we do have a career services office that's just for the law school. Tim, Julie and Jessica are really great about putting on different events to expose the law students to different areas of law that people might not have thought they'd be, have been interested in before. So they'll bring in speakers from the community, some of them are alums, some of them aren't, but they'll talk about their respective areas that they're working in and talk about the things they, they did to get their jobs and, and give advice to students. And the people who attend these um, events and speak are really excited about talking with students, uh, which is great. And they'll often give out their business cards and invite students out to lunch. Um, all the events that are in this room are catered during the lunch hour. So I always say it's a great way to get free food. Um, I know I've showed up sometimes just for the free food and ended up learning something about another area of law. Um, but it just really helps to give you an idea of what types of jobs you could get after you graduate, um, sometimes even internships um, or part-time jobs throughout the year as well. So down these hallways are our faculty offices. So this is where students will meet with professors during office hours. Uh, professors are usually really available to meet with. They'll have a couple days a week for a few hours that they'll block out just to meet with students. And they're really excited about meeting with students. And I know excited sounds really cheesy, but some professors, um, they actually even require office hours to be uh, part of their the course grade because they really do want students to come talk with them about the material, whether it's things they're not understanding in class or just learning about students and what they want to do post-graduation. Uh, professors are, are really good sources of, of networking as well. Here professors actually are, are invested in, in really making sure that students are understanding the material and some professors will even take it personally if students are struggling because they really want students to succeed um, and which is why they encourage coming to office hours so much. So right now we are in our student lounge where we have a lovely little restaurant called the Jury Box um, where students can grab food in between classes during the lunch hour. A lot of students will come down to this area just to, to relax and, and get away from maybe the stress of, of studying up in the library. And then on this floor as well is where a lot of the student organizations will hold their monthly or weekly meetings. and. Uh, how students are able to join those organizations uh, starts with the student organization fair, which is held a few weeks into the school year where students are able to kind of shop around and, and look at what types of organizations they'd be interested in getting involved in. So we are in one of our smaller classrooms right now, and these classrooms are used in your first year for your legal writing course um, because it's better to have one-on-one -on -one attention, so they want smaller class sizes, and usually that's around 15 to 20 people. 
A lot of second and third year classes will be held in rooms about this size as you get into more niche areas of law. So I had a special education law class that was about 10 people that was in a room about this size. And then the last type of class that's usually in here is the learning community course, which is something that all first year students are required to participate in. And small groups of students get paired with an upperclassman mentor who helps students kind of maneuver their first year of law school academics, social life, dealing with all that stress, and those uh, students will meet once a week in a classroom about this size throughout their first year. So this is one of four of the larger um, classroom styles, and usually this holds about 30 to 50 students depending on the class. So a lot of the foundational first year courses are going to be held in a room like this because all the students in their first year are, are taking the same sort of foundational classes. So right now we are on the second floor of our library, as you can see, surrounded by a lot of books. Even though nowadays most of the research is done online through the legal research databases that the students have access to. But nevertheless, students will come to the library to study in between classes, in the mornings, in the evenings, whatever works for your schedule. Um, and we do have a lot of different types of study spaces depending on what students prefer. So we have the larger tables for group study. We have these smaller like individual desk cubbies for people who don't want to be bothered or easily distracted like me who need to put some space between themselves and the rest of the student body. Uh, but because our library is a really decent size, it's, it's not difficult to find your own space and a lot of students will kind of find a space and stick with it throughout the semester um, and kind of make it their own. Thanks so much for joining me on our virtual tour today. Hopefully this helped you get a bit of a better feel of what our law school is all about. Um, I've been really happy with my decision to attend UDSL. I've loved the homey, small environments, the one-on-one -on -one attention you get from professors who all know me by first name, and just the support that's offered to you as a law student here has made all the difference in the world. Um, so if you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out to the admissions office, and thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.